Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 57 for learning management system in Django with React JS. In our previous video, we have created the te uh, we have created the analytic in the teacher dashboard. Okay, if we go to the teacher dashboard here, you can see that analytics means uh, we are counting the data whatever the teacher is posting or whatever the uh, related data with the teacher. Now in this video, I'm going to work on the student panel, right? So in the student panel, we have some, uh, you know, here, here you can see that some uh, modules we have like my courses, favorite courses, recommended courses, profile setting and change password. So we'll start with the my courses and uh, we will do step by step. And then at the end, we will uh, definitely do the dashboard, right? So let's uh, start with the my courses. When we click on the my courses here, we need to fetch all the courses uh, in which student has enrolled right so let's uh, go in the my courses so i'll open the component my courses so lms front end uh, source and everything is uploaded on the github right so uh, i'm saying uh, i'm saying in every video that everything is uploaded on the github so if you need the code okay if you need the code just send me your email id and please uh, support me via razor pay paypal patreon whatever uh, you like you can support me i have given the every uh, description in the about section here you can see that okay so uh, when you support me it's, it depends on you this is just a small donation okay that will you know motivate me excite me to do the things uh, you know with the excitement and after that uh, you can send me your email id and i will give the access to that repository right you can also join the membership okay enough the uh, the promotion uh, let's start with the work okay so here we have uh, we are doing the my courses right so let's open the my courses component so in the component in the user and uh, here we have a uh, my courses right so let's uh, <coughs> uh, if you if you remember then uh, in the teacher dashboard right in the teacher dashboard we have some panel uh, total students right here we have a total students so teacher users actually these student according to the teacher according to the course right according to this uh, particular teacher courses okay now we need to fetch according to the current student which courses he has been enrolled right so uh, i'll take help from the you know the, i'll take help from the total students dashboard right so here we have a my courses i'll open the components teacher uh, teacher courses user list something yes user list right so <coughs> uh, what we have and what we not have so here we need to first of all i'll copy this because we need everything we need use state use effect axios base url everything okay now uh we set this uh, student data or we can simply say the course data right <coughs> courses uh we'll say course data course data right so here we are right and the teacher id so it will be student id hmm? so student id so I'm I'm just fetching the student ID from the local storage, right? So local storage, okay. So here we have, um, and then use effect, fetch all the course, fetch all the courses, fetch courses when page load, fetch all enrolled students, okay. Fetch all fetch students here, okay. So let's fetch all enrolled students. So let's see what we have in the URL so we will take a look and main and we have a urls.py file here and uh, student enroll course fetch enroll fetch enroll fetch enroll we are fetching the enrolled student but uh, we need to fetch enrolled courses right so i'll copy this and paste it here and this will be store student id okay so fetch enrolled courses okay and uh, in the view let's open the view right 
and uh, we have fetch enrolled courses and fetch enrolled students enrolled course list right so in the view we have enrolled student list here right so <coughs> oh we can add here we can add here we don't need to uh, you know create another uh, function we can simply we can add another elif condition right so if student id in keyword arguments then this is the student right and uh, this is our uh, student id and from the student model right so from the student model from the student where course student equal to student or this is simple student equal to student if we go to the models.py file here here we have a, a student enrolled course here okay so student enrolled course we are fetching student enrolled course and we are fetching if student is this then we are fetching the data right so <coughs> Here we are and let's go to the model and we need in the model uh, or in the serializer actually in the serializer enrolled student courses student enrolled courses uh, yes we are defining the depth because uh, depth means we are uh, trying to get the child uh, we also want to uh, show the data of the relationship like uh, we have attached the a course and the student then we need to fetch the data of course and the student right so we are call we will call this url fetch enrolled courses fetch enrolled courses from here right and here we will pass the student id and this will be set course data right and uh, everything is fine and if we need to create here the tr so that the design was uh, disturbed let's see here right and uh, if we go to the if we go here the dashboard my courses and let's fetch the courses right so <coughs> uh, here we have a user list i'll just call the function hmm? function here and this will be our tr hmm? this this and this will be a course data right course data right so course data and this is the title of the data uh, row row dot course dot title right so django hmm? and uh, here we will say who created this so course dot teacher hmm? so this is teacher dot full name right so do we have full name or something else uh, teacher yes we have full name hmm? so it it should show the full name uh, row this is uh, let's see the student enrolled courses student okay course and course is attached with the course is attached with teacher right so it should show in the course we are not defining the depth uh, no we need to define the depth in the serializer actually so course 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 serializer here we are yes so we are defining but uh, it is not fetching the course teacher dot full name let's see okay it's not uh, fetching the full name okay we'll see that but it's fetching the id it's fetching the id it's not fetching the full name okay so here is a delete button hmm? so 
if we uh, you can say if i want to uh, remove this uh, enrollment then uh, we can uh, delete this we can perform the delete action okay so i'm not going to do this now but i will do this uh, maybe in the next or uh, in, in the upcoming video okay so now it's uh, here is the issue that uh, we need to it's not fetching the teacher full name so course dot teacher dot full name right it should fetch the full name let's see in the url network hmm, and uh, refresh the page it's fetching the data response object course course we have in the course it's fetching the teacher okay so let's in the serializer let's do the define to depth to let's see course no it's not fetching the data it's fetching only teacher one okay course serializer we have student enrollment actually we need to define the depth here hmm? yes now it's working can you see that actually our relationship is uh, with the two level so we need to define depth two right so now it's uh, saying the uh, django and this and this okay so now the only action we need to perform we need to perform a uh, remove enrollment we can say uh, remove enrollment hmm? enrollment okay fine so when we click on this uh, the enrollment will be removed okay from the course it means uh, the enrollment uh, we don't need to remove their enrollment because uh, uh, we also if we remove the enrollment then we also remove the rating if a student has uh, been rated then we also remove so i i don't think that we need to perform this action now okay because we need to change uh, we need to check all of the things all of the other things okay so uh, let's see if we have um, because if we enroll if we oh yeah we 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 can remove this we don't need this we can remove this okay so we just need to remove this action okay so who is created and i am in the course yes we can add the link here we can add the link uh here we are right so link okay so we need to add the link on the you know the course so let's see what's the link is detail slash and uh, this one dollar and the course id course actually we are doing wrong uh, it will be here yeah and then here what's the matter oh he now what's the matter why the dollar okay let's see in the user list or any uh, teacher register teacher profile setting teacher courses 
so here we are here you can see that okay we need to oh mm, mm, mm. here you can see that here yeah, this i'll copy this and uh, paste it here right and uh, this is detail this is detail and uh, this is detail then we will say row dot course dot id right row dot course dot id okay so now we have uh, definitely uh, worked on this and uh, when we click on this it will uh, go to the detail page right so we have successfully implemented the uh, my course section uh, in the t uh, in the user dashboard right now in the next uh, we will work on the favorite courses okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you